So, uh, Rishabh, you cleared your CP1 paper in third attempt and same was the case with me and it feels really frustrating. Uh, you also took a six months career break. Uh, let's talk about how the situation was then, how you tackled that particular point of time and your CP1 journey, obviously. So, the year was April 2022 and I took a break uh, due to some personal reason. And during that time, I was very clear in my head that I have to clear the actual paper also. So I took CP1 attempt. So I devoted a lot of time for preparing my CP1 examination also. And in that attempt, I was not able to uh, clear the CP1 examination. So it was a very low point for me because I took the break also and I was not able to clear the paper also. I think so I was not able to clear the paper for one and a half or two marks only. So that also pinched me. And then I was trying to relate the thing which I told earlier that maybe if I could have given it in the year 2017, then I could have been advanced in the paper. So that's why I keep on saying that you need to clear the paper as early as possible. And in the first attempt, then, yeah, I, obviously I was not happy uh, with me not clearing my paper. And then I took the second attempt and I was, uh, I was very clear in my head that I would prepare that also with uh, from the scratch only so i started preparing for cp1 for my second attempt also but in that attempt also i wasn't able to clear the paper and in that attempt the my my marks and the past marks the gap has widened uh, i didn't take it very well because i thought i well, i did a lot of hard work and i thought i should clear that paper and I also started preparing for another paper because I was I thought that I would clear this paper. So uh, then I changed my approach to study CP1 examination. I started making notes. I started to write uh, answers and all because I thought that that was lacking in my uh, first two attempts. So I started practicing papers and all. So I think so that helped me to clear the uh, the paper in my third attempt. And then I, I started making uh, chapter wise notes. So I gave it for the two times. So I knew what are the common questions and all and I made a note based on that question so people students preparing uh, uh, cp1 they should know that few questions are, are come very uh, often in the exam like actuarial control cycle and all and then if you if chapter by chapter you can identify which question will be coming from this chapter for example in uh, first first chapter it would be actuarial control cycle would be asked many times and then risk management tool like risk identification and all that uh, that flow and then you can see the other risk control like underwriting claim control process management control so all these things actually i prepared so many times that i knew that this will be coming out of these four five chapters so i took a career break for six months as i mentioned earlier so uh, during that uh, so i resumed i took a break in april 2022 and then I have started searching for job in, seven, in the month of September 2022 only. So I think so it was not that difficult for me to uh, get a job because I think so I made lots of connection in the actual industry and people knew my work and also I didn't face that difficulty. I got it within 10 to 15 days only the job, uh, my the, the current job which I am facing. So as I mentioned earlier, if you have four to five months of experience, I think so you shouldn't have uh, difficulty in getting jobs. It should be easier to for you to get the job. 